Hello everybody, it's November 12th, 2023. This is the cleanup video of the, of the dig on November 4th, 2023, digging dump close to home with Lewis Hull. Hello everybody, and thank you for watching our videos. And um, Please hit that like button to the videos. And, uh, and thank you for watching, and if you'd like to, you can subscribe and watch more of our videos. So, um, these are the finds we did when we were digging down there, and let's get right to it. Right off the bat, I want to show you this odd colored lid. That's a light blue. Has anybody seen that happen? This trademark lightning. So, it's got a little writing on it. It's very small. Or next to none. Yeah, this light, it's very faded. And it's turned that, so that's interesting. Here's that economy jar, the everybody economy. This is magnesium, I guess, because it's starting to turn a, tint, a hint of purple. Made by the Kerr Glass Company. It was patented, it is patented, June 9th through the 23rd of 1903, they made them. Portland, Oregon, I guess. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. A little bit of a ding there, but that came out awesome actually. That was probably the, one of the best finds of the day. Moving right along, this green bottle. Now we have found bottles. But this one has a really older top. And we've found different variations of these. It even has the cork in it. And it's a beautiful green. But that seems to be an early top. These just smell they smelt weird like um not like kerosene, but like a cleaning fluid. Yeah, so there it is. It's a pretty bottle. Very thin glass. Survived being dug up after all these years. Then there was this one. Blown a mold all the way. Lots of these. Nice, beautiful perfume bottle. With the letters VA in the bottom. Oh, excuse me, VB. Yeah, no bossing, but a very nice, pretty perfume bottle, possibly. some marks I couldn't get off of there. No, we've never got a successful milk bottle out of there. They're always broken, but this is in sad condition, but this is the name of the company. Derrico W. Chadwick Dairy Creamer Mass Seal. Massive cracks going through it. Some fish eyes there, whatever you want to call these things, and bubbles in the glass. In the best dump ever spot, we have found milk bottles like this patent with like 1911. And that spot is being dug by not just us, by other people now, which it always has been. So, but we're not heartbroken about that. It's about what you can find and sometimes even sharing your dumps, but. If you don't want your <laughs> dumps to be dug, then you find a special one. Just just be, play it smart and dig your dump and show you're digging and don't have to expose too much to you, but it's always nice to go dump digging with other people. And if you're going to do that, you know, show one for one. Like they, they show you their dump, you go to the, their bottle dump, and then so on and so on. You know, so... Does these just two of these and they're blown a mold. One will look more crude than the other one. But that dump that's the best dump ever has been dug in since the sixties. And there's been like oh my gosh, a bottle digger there named Jeff who's up in Maine on Long Route One. He's in his seventies. He was living in Georgetown, Mass. And he was digging there when he lived there and he went all the way over to to my town. And he dug in there. Another man I knew of, named Tom went there, and he was um, digging there. I don't know. I think he has sadly have passed away since. And he was digging there. Then there's Jim that does flea markets. It was somewhere in that vicinity, and he told me about that place after many years of Jeff telling me about the bottle guy up in Maine along Route 1. They just, just, I think it's going toward Portland more, but it was after Portsmouth, actually, Portsmouth, New Hampshire. He's not too far down the way. This is J.F. Howard from Haber with a nice bubble in it. 
machine made. Some of these are blower mold. But that bottle dump there, we call it the best dump at home. That's hit it off. It's always going to have stuff and it's deep digging. So, and if you can get in there, there it is. But <laughs> I don't. Net weight, about 10 ounces. About 10 ounces. Now that's interesting. This bottle's blown, blown a mold. It's the only soda we found this day. And a corn, almost like a light blue corn blow. Yeah, corn flower blue. Do you all agree? Is that a corn flower blue or like a light aqua blue? And some of these have like a, a, a stained sandy uh, uh, look to them. But we kept it. You can get back to that dump. I've dug there with some friends of mine. Some from New Hampshire, some from Mass. And that's finally this Horlick malted milk. Now there's different variations. There's a, there's a big, the older ones are thick, thick letter. This is smaller. This one dates around 1915. It has this on the bottom. Well, actually, B12, probably 1912. Yep. And it's got some purple to it. I should have yeah, that'll turn purple. That's magnes. So that's around 1912. The ones from the 1890s and 1906 would be would be uh, light blue. Yep. I didn't want to put these all in order. With the, uh, we sell bottles too, by the way. We sell them. And that's what we dug. The other ones in the back there, you've already seen. Those are that Gardner New York bottle. The baby bottle back there. Anyway, you've seen those ones, the cobalt. That other lid on top of that cobalt we dug about a month before that. Something like that. So, but it's nice to, you know, share dump spots with people. And then you can go other locations go out of state maybe even you know and uh share the hobby you know if you want to some people don't want to expose their dumps too much because then they you know if it's a privately owned place you got say if you go to a home or you know someone has a dump behind us they said only you can go so I don't, they don't want everybody going on their property just you and there's insurance reasons because if you get hurt you heard on these properties. So being private, you know, then there's lawsuits and harsh feelings. So that's basically why what that would happen, you know. So hmm, it's not such a good thing, is it? So sorry about that. I'm trying to put this all back. Yeah. So we gotta play it safe and go dig where you know you can. You want to see a dump to like. Like say if it's state property and people have been digging there for years, like the other place over there, and both places it's state owned. It's like between highways and stuff like that, and cemeteries, whatever, or even baseball fields. You can find dumps behind anything like that, especially where old towns are. I'm not saying that's what's where those places are, but so, but that dump close to home is really harsh, harsh digging for Lou and I. I, I dug that in 2019 and 2020 before. I started getting bad with my arthritis, and, uh, and my I still walk down there. Uh, I'm feeling my age, <laughs> but I poke around and help him. I, I do the camera like I'm doing now, and uh, we narrate it, and we had some good find. So this is what we found. That being the best, I think those first three in that milk bottle. I want to show you this. I got this at the London Dairy Flea Market, and I put that that wheel on it. Uh, not too bad. It's a little small, but that's probably an early Tootsie toy or probably unmarked. I think I grabbed that for like three dollars, but at least it's complete. Someone actually fixed it like there. They put their own wheels on it. I've done stuff like that too. That seems like something I would I might have done. So there would she be. All right, thank you for watching, and, and um, thank you, subscribers, all you recent subscribers, and hello to everybody. I'm gonna say hello to everybody out there, and, uh, and you know, dig, be safe in your dig. And I like what 
uh, we'll say hello to Dean with Deej. That's the, I haven't said hello to her. But I like what she says. Find your finds and, you know, do your digging to find your finds and your treasures. And you just got to be patient, you know. And that, that's good advice, you know. So I like watching her and all you other YouTubers that I've mentioned. All the honorable call-outs. And I thank you for the call-outs you do for us. And, we'll, and we're still working on getting a, another safe vehicle. We have that GoFundMe. And um, we're saving up money. And, all right, well, take care, and God bless, and happy Thanksgiving to you all early. It's, uh, I think it's November 12th, and Thanksgiving will be the 23rd of this of this year, so God bless us all, and take care, and thank you for watching. Louie and I are digging, and we hope to dig soon, and, uh, and until next time, thank you for watching, and take care.